This is another in the series of core practicals, this time the I versus V for a diode. The potential divider is used to give us a wide range of potentials. The output of the power supply is split across a resistor. The resistor is connected to either side of the output. It is then possible to tap off a range of voltage from the sliding track at the top. Add a voltmeter to the circuit so that you can check that it's working. By sliding the slider backwards and forwards, you should be able to get a range of voltages, somewhere between 0 and 4.5 volts. Turn off. Now we're going to connect the light emitting diode. That's just like a normal diode, but you can see it actually working. The light emitting diode is going to be in parallel with the voltmeter. And again, turn on, check to see if it's working. and turn off again. If the diode doesn't work, there's a very good chance that it's connected back to front. Diodes only work in one direction. As you can see, there's no light. And again, just make sure the circuit's working properly. Now we need, to make, we need to measure the current in the circuit. So break the circuit and insert an ammeter. The currents are small, so this time we're using a milliammeter. Once again, turn on. Use the slider to change the potential and measure the values for voltage and current. They're difficult to see, but for 1.40 volts, there is no current. For 1.60, there is no current. For 1.80, the current is 0.27 milliamps. For 2, it is 1.5 milliamps. For 2.2 volts, it is 3.14 milliamps. For 2.4 volts, it is 4.86 milliamps. For 2.6 volts, it's 6.65 milliamps. For 2.8 volts, it's 8.41 milliamps. And finally, for 3 volts, it's 10.28 milliamps. This table of result is at the end of the video. Here are the results presented as a table. You will see the LED only works in one direction. And finally, this data can be transferred to a graph, which will look something like this.